What was that like uh, working with Kerry Stinson? You were his backup, right? Yes. Uh, we started out. I started out as backup, and then after I figured out how to do it, mm -hmm. uh, perform the job, and get acclimated and conditioned, uh, I was able to, to do the main part as well. We'd switch off. Um, the reason that they had two of us in the first place was because Barney would make magical appearances on separate sides of the stage, yeah. you know, in a new costume. Yeah. Right, and so that would be me or, or the other Barney. Mm -hmm. And then during the day, we would do PR, television stations and children's hospitals. Oh, that's so, amazing. Yeah, yeah, so we'd go and, uh, we'd go and do sing-alongs downstairs in the lobby, and then after that, we'd go upstairs, ride the elevator, go to the rooms <laughs> in that... In the costume? Yeah, yeah. I'd wow. go room to room to all the kids who couldn't come downstairs. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when I got the audition straight out of acting school, I was in those comedy troops, those blue comedy troops I was telling you about. And a uh, teacher paged me to tell me about the audition, told me to come and talk to her. So I did. And uh, she told me about it, and I was like, mm-mm. She goes, what do you mean, mm-mm? <laughs> I said, I'm not doing that. Said, Why not? Have you seen our comedy troops? Right. I'm I'm not even 21 yet. I was just fixing to be 21. Mm -hmm. I was like, there's no, they won't even want me, much less me wanting to do it. Because mm -hmm. the only contact I'd had with it is passing by it. Yeah. Because of that annoying voice. Mm -hmm. I've since gained a, a great admiration and a great relationship with Bob West, who was the voice at the time that I did it, as well as Dean Went, who went on to do it but uh you know she told she looked at me with that mom's side eye and she goes i think you need to do it said, okay i just graduated this is what you do as an actor right mm -hmm. you go on auditions okay fine fine i'll go and do it get it over with get the process over with move on to the good stuff and i got to the audition and right before i walked inside for whatever reason uh, Jim Henson's Manamana song popped in my head, and I got this huge smile on my face. Mm -hmm. I love the Muppets. And um, the audition was in, just as I was, jump around, act like I was waving to kids during yeah. the theme song. Uh, and I did, and I didn't get home until I got a page to say they wanted to see me back. Wow. And I was like, what? What? Okay. All right, great. And then my teacher told me what it was about. She told me it was a world tour, and, uh, you know, they would, they'd pay me. Really? <laughs> right. It's like, well, how much? She goes, a lot of money. Hmm. And looking back, it wasn't a lot of money, right. but for a guy who was eating hot dogs sometimes, you know. Like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm taking And I had no bills. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, which speaks to maybe my uh, free spirit, because at that point, um... I've talked about it as well. I it gave me a freedom that I'd never had. Mm, yeah. You know, I was free on my own when I moved to Dallas from Louisiana, but whew, it was tough. Yeah. I'd support myself, you know. I made I made decisions that didn't necessarily support myself <laughs> because I was used to making selfish decisions mm -hmm. as a child and getting taken care of by your parents and uh and then when I went on tour I had a different perspective, you know. Now I could buy any any food that I right. wanted. Uh, I could buy any any new tennis shoes that I needed, any new pants, you know, that I need. I didn't go up buy cars or anything like right. that. I I probably could have if I saved money, but I didn't save any of that money either. I spent it all because you know I'd go to cities and go, "Oh, I want to do that." Yeah, never done that. I've never been. Yeah. I don't know if I even be back here. Right. No, of course. I've been back to most of those places <laughs> several times since then. <laughs> yeah. And and good thing, too, because most of the time I go airport, hotel, gig, hotel, airport. Airport, yeah. You're never there. Oh, my gosh, you went to New York. You see Statue Lit? No, no. Saw the airport. I, I saw that stuff driving by in the Uber yeah, or cool. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or Lyft, I don't know. Sponsorship. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, and then to bring it back around... That punk kid who said he didn't want to do the tour gets on tour 
and then they're doing hospital visits. Hmm. So he does the, you know, it's a little, it, it's, it puts it in perspective when you walk into the hospital and you see the kids hanging out, but then you go upstairs to the kids who couldn't come we'll out there. Right now. Yeah. And uh, the first time they took me to a burn unit and they didn't tell me about that. Hmm. Before they didn't tell you beforehand. They didn't tell me it was a burn unit. Oh, okay. They didn't tell me what condition yeah, uh, this child was in. Yeah. And um, I, I always preface this: it's not. This isn't the point that I have a weak stomach, but I do have a weak stomach, mm -hmm. and I wasn't prepared for it extra. You know, yeah, from was, beyond. Yeah. You know, and but beyond that, emotionally, it was like, oh. Mm -hmm. There was a few other instances, you know some make-a-wish things yeah. um, that put it all in perspective. And then I was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. But I'm glad to be here. Yeah. So, you know, that that's why I do what I want. I make sure it's happy because I know that my heart and mind's in the right place. For sure. If you do stuff with the best intent, you know, good things are going to happen, for sure. I agree. Yeah.